Refraction and critical angles. What is refraction? Refraction is when light bends as it passes between different transparent substances. When talking about refraction, one thing needs to be addressed first. It is called the index of refraction. The index of refraction is the way refraction is measured through a ratio between the speed of light in a vacuum to that of the specific medium. For example, glass has an index of refraction of 1.5, meaning the speed of light in glass is 1.5 times slower than that in a vacuum. In this example, I'm going to be working with water and air. Water has an index of refraction of 1.3. As I move the laser, you can see that the light bends towards the normal line when it hits the water. Why is that? It is because water is denser than air. If light goes from a less dense medium into a denser medium, the velocity decreases and it bends towards the normal line. What velocity am I talking about? The velocity we work with is the velocity of the speed of light. Light has a speed of 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, and that velocity can differ between substances because different substances have different resistance amounts, and these are used for the index of refraction. Now, what happens when light goes from a denser medium to a less dense medium? Well, if we change the settings so that the light enters from water and leaves through air, we can notice that the light bends away from the normal line. Now why is that? When light goes from a dense medium to a less dense medium, the velocity increases. And this is because the less dense the medium will be, it makes for less resistance. Meaning the light will revert back to its original velocity therefore resulting in the light bending away from the normal line. Next, we will discuss critical angles. A critical angle is the angle at which the light enters a material and will refract perfectly to 90 degrees along the edge of the material, as you can see above. To calculate the critical angle, we are going to use Snell's law. We isolate sin theta c, then plug in all the known angles. So for this one, we can plug in sine theta 2, which is the angle of refraction, which is 90 degrees. Then, since 90 degrees is 1, you can take that out, which leaves you with n2 over n1. Now, we plug in n1 and n2 into this equation, which gives us sine theta c equals 0.75, then from there, you get theta c equals 48.6 degrees, which is the critical angle. Here is an example of the critical angle. As we get closer to 48.6 degrees, you can see the line starts to get close um, and reflects along the 90 degrees of the inside water. But as it passes that, you can see it bounces off the inside of the water and reflects back up, causing total internal refraction. Now, last but not least, what is the application of this in real life? The application is fiber optic cables. Fiber optic cables utilize the critical angles and total internal refraction to transmit light and information over long distances at a higher speed. Fiber optics utilization of total internal reflection provides services of the internet, telephone, and television. All of those are possible thanks to physics.